Welcome back to educator.com. In this lesson, we will be discussing composition. This is composition part one of a two-part lesson. In this lesson, we will be discussing what is composition. We'll be defining it. We will talk about aspect ratio, and we will also be discussing field of view, which is the types of shots defined. And we will define the shorthand that we use on the terminology used in film and television. What is composition? Every time you pick up the camera and you frame your subject, you are making compositional choices. Each choice is a tool that is part of your filmmaker's tool chest. This is an idea I introduced in the very first lesson of this um, series of this course, is that filmmakers, video makers, have a tool chest. And every time we're picking up the camera, we're using different tools to create our, um, our program or our show or st to tell our story. And so composition is a, obviously a very important tool that we use. And within composition, we have different specific choices, which are all each can be thought of as tools. So there are many elements and choices that contribute to the composition. And so they include primarily what type of shot, which is called field of view how close or far an image is, the camera angle, if it's high, low, or eye level, and then what we're gonna define as our vectors within the frame. Let's first talk about aspect ratio and define it. So the aspect ratio simply is the frame. That's your aspect ratio. So think of aspect ratio as the shape of your canvas. So every time a painter paints. There are standard shapes for their canvas. Sometimes they make their own canvases to be a size and a shape that they want. But that is technically the aspect ratio of the image that they're making. So technically what it is, is aspect ratio is the relationship between the horizontal length and the height of the frame. Your camera um, may have a setting that allows you to select the aspect ratio. If so, make sure you have selected the aspect ratio you want to use. Okay, let's talk about a couple specific aspect ratios. Okay, so 16 by 9. That's the common present standard for most television programs, films, and video contents. It's also called widescreen format. 16 by 9 wasn't always the standard. It used to be four by three. It used to be the standard for TV as well as for films. Many people still have television monitors, TV sets, that are configured for four by three. So, because of the shift in format, most viewfinders and video cameras have what's called TV safe marks on the viewfinder. These indicate the four by three aspect ratio. So make sure when you frame your images, you put all of the important critical information inside the four by three marks. If not, this info could be lost. This is because of the over scanning and the under, under scanning that can occur as we go from one monitor to the next from, or from one as you're, as you're playing back or if there's a, a signal that has been transmitted. So, we want to keep all the important information within that. So let's look at what four by three looks like. So here we have four by three. So the um, horizontal by the vertical. As you can see, it's much more boxy than most of the TV shows. So um, I started working in film and television when this was still the standard. And um, so there's still a lot of content out there that was shot this way um, and that we will still see this aspect ratio. On certain for certain television sets. Okay, so now we have our common. This is what we're used to now, 16 by 9. Um, and, and again, it's 16 horizontal and 9 vertically. Okay, so here's an example of a viewfinder with TV safe marks. So you see these dotted lines. The dotted lines here are for TV safe. And um, sometimes you'll see it's little corners. This is another way that it might look. Um, so just depending on your viewfinder, you'll have different types of TV safe marks. 